So I had a review pop up the other day and you know how it is when you get a new review, you think, great. And then you see it's a bad review. I thought, what? And I was about to fire back and give a comment back because I felt it was unfair. And then I thought, what would I tell my clients? And I know what I tell them. I tell them to pause and just think before you send it. And I'll say this is an opportunity to put a great reply back because customers look to see how you reply. And especially with the new AI mode, replies to reviews is going to be a big commodity. So I would use AI to get the tone right. I'd follow my process, my step-by-step -step strategy, and I would then reply to the review. And that's what I did. And talking about AI and its advantage with reviews, I've put a download for you, 10 ways in which you can improve your reviews with the new AI mode and the new AI layout. So get that download in the description below and just follow that if you've not got a strategy in place. So back to that two star review I received. So what I did is I wrote out all the reasons I felt this wasn't a fair review and all the things I'd done to try and make it better for the customer. And reading that alone probably wouldn't have done any good to my strategy. But then I then put it into AI mode and asked it to make it friendly, caring, reasonable and professional. And what it came out with was, as you've probably experienced, amazing. You can never write it as well as it does. So using AI to respond to reviews and to handle things well makes a big difference. But what happened next, you'd never guess. After responding to that review and asking AI to make sure it didn't miss out any of the details, but kept it professional and friendly, the review just disappeared. Now, I don't know if it's Google or the person that's removed it, but ultimately, that review was handled. And this is the best thing with AI and with AI modes is valuing the response of reviews, whether good or bad, how you handle it makes a big impact on how you're going to rank in the future. And that's when I realized that AI isn't just for blogs or for students' homework, but small businesses can use AI right now to get better results, more visibility, and even better than that, to show up more often in this new AI mode that Google's producing. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I'm now doing to make sure that I'm future-proofed with the new AI mode. And I'm also going to share some tips that no one else is talking about that's gonna make your business profile show up in those results. So what is this shift that's now taking place? Well, Google's rolling out this new AI mode and ultimately in the past, Google Maps used to come up with three results of local businesses. Uh, at the moment, Google's doing it slightly differently. It's producing four results. And when you click through to these results, it's notice it's based on a lot more detail about your business. So it goes through to your business profile and then everything you've been strategizing with your profile then can benefit from those clicks. But how do you get in those four? And what is Google using at the moment to decide what four are shown? Well, this is a shift to pay attention to, because in the past we've spoken about reviews being important, but you could say at the moment, they're the new ranking currency. You really need regular reviews, reports, case studies, those types of things coming in if you're taking it seriously in this new shift, this new way that Google's operating. Now Google's AO mode is still rolling out and it's not available in all countries. Darren Shaw was demonstrating how he's using it. And you notice he was showing again in this screenshot from Darren, how the results that come out are based on four results that lead through to the business profile. So this is exciting because it means then that everything we've been doing over the past few years are actually lending itself now to helping us rank and being shown above competitors. So you can just see, notice here, that businesses are in the results based on top rated and highly recommended. And most of this is coming from what customers are saying about you, whether it's on reviews on the web or whether it's reviews within Google. So notice how customer ratings and reviews are impacting search results more than ever. This is a huge shift. And this is because reviews are the way of showing Google and customers that you're trustworthy. And AI can't work out trust the same way that humans can. So if you've not got a strategy in place for how to get trustworthy reviews, authentic reviews coming in, then you need to rethink this. 
But of course, it's not just about star ratings alone. It's not about having 5.0 as your average. But there's other things as well that are being promoted through this new layout. Because on top of AI mode, Google is also showing a new layout when it comes to your business profile. And it's a much more shinier, professional, cleaner look as well. But notice reviews are also put to the top of this. So what does this new layout do? Well, this new layout uses customer quotes and it highlights them. It uses keywords that are pulled from your reviews, which will answer customers' queries. It looks for the sentiment and the analysis of what's being said. AI understands the tone of what's being said. Also, things like voice search are going to be using it more and more. So you need to show that you're popular based on your customer reviews. And AI is picking up that type of detail so that it then can recommend you when people use voice search. And even reviews from Facebook and Yelp and Trustpilot, all these are building a picture of your brand and your trust. And Google also pushes strong brands with strong trust. So Google is basically treating your reviews like real content. And the reason why it's so important and so valuable is you're not writing it. You know, if you write a, a blog about yourself, you wrote a, an article about your business, it's always going to be very, very good about your business. It's always going to promote your business. I'm the greatest, I'm the best, says who? Whereas when your customers are saying that, Google knows that is what people are going to trust. So when you use fresh, keyword rich reviews presented to customers that are interested from customers that have been with you in the past, you've got a winning formula as far as Google's concerned. And so this is why reviews are mega important at the moment. And the way Google is using its reviews and Google Business Profile is it's wanting you to see it as the center, the hub of your brand on the web. So you've got your website, you've got blogs and case studies, you've got citations, you've got indexes, you've also got reviews on Facebook, you've got reviews on Yelp, on other indexes. And in effect, what Google Profile is doing is getting you an opportunity to link to your booking page, link to your website, to link to all your brand mentions, to link out to those reviews and those areas where you've got ratings. And ultimately, Google is then bringing it all back together. Now, like with a, a bicycle wheel that has spokes, you've got Google Business Profiles, your hub. You've got various spokes going out that Google knows about. And it's for you to make sure Google knows of all the various areas you're mentioned. And then when Google goes out and sees that these are authentic and trustworthy reviews, it forms a stronger picture. And there's no doubt about it, a strong bicycle wheel has many different spokes on. So if you've only got one or two references, you're going to be riding a bike that's easily gonna get a buckled wheel. So it's all about building that circle of trust. And when you've got that type of thinking in mind, it helps you understand what Google's trying to do here. But nearly everyone I consult with seems to still think that when we talk in reviews, it's all about getting a five-star review. Well, it's not. You know. Google gets the fact that you will get bad reviews. When I got my two-star review, it wasn't the end of the world. My average was still 5.0. It's how you handle those bad reviews that's important. And it's also worth bearing in mind that even Google gets bad reviews. I mean, I did a search here for some HQs uh, on Google, and Google averages 4.2, 4.6, 3.9. You can't please everyone, and Google knows that. So don't worry too much when you get a bad review. What you should worry about is how you handle that review. So just aim for consistency and trustworthiness. That's what wins. And on top of that, we know that Google's really investing in getting reviews because a few years ago, you couldn't even get a link to your review area. Now they provide a shortcut link to that. And they even have recently been providing a QR code as well. And now you can even buy ways to get your QR code, your Google Business QR code. You can display it on front desks. You can put it, the QR code on your blogs. You can put it on your emails. You can put it on your business cards. The point is, is Google is promoting you and helping you to get more reviews to your business profile because it wants it to be that hub, that center. So you get this smooth wheel building around your trust factor. The easier you make it for customers to 
see your QR code or to get a review link to your business, the more likely they are that they're going to actually leave a review. So that tells us Google is heavily invested in you getting reviews. And we can work with that with our strategy. But this video is more than just understanding that reviews are great for the new AI mode and the new layout. This is also about how can you use AI to get more reviews? What system could be used to make sure that customers did leave reviews? Can AI help you in that way? Now, when we talk of AI, we might be referring to Gemini, we might be referring to ChatGPT or whatever you prefer using. I tend to use ChatGPT and I'm interested in knowing how can I get more reviews by using AI? So responding and handling bad reviews was what I did with that two-star review and that worked. But here are five other little tips I'm going to share with you now. Number one, get improved quality of reviews coming in by using AI to help you to get those reviews in the first place. So you know what it's like. You've got a customer, they've emailed you back, said great business, really enjoyed doing business with you. Now's your opportunity to give them an email back. But when you write that email, when you write that reply, put it into chat GPT and say, could you also just ask them for a review? But do it in a way that makes sense with what I've spoken of in this reply. And the idea of that is if you mentioned in your reply in the email that I'm so pleased that you, we did a great, great job, it was a lot faster than you expected, or so pleased that you felt we were reliable and we turned up on time, you could then also ask ChatGPT to, could you mention those types of things? But ChatGPT is also aware of the types of search terms that other customers are interested in. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your customers to leave a review with the very things that potential customers are concerned about. So are they reliable, they're asking. Give me a reliable taxi service. Now, if you're a taxi service, you want them in their review to relieve. They were always on time and they were reliable. And of course, there's contextual understanding here that Google has with its AI mode. So it can then tally the two together. So you could say that AI is a way of marrying up your current customers and what they say with potential customers at what they're looking for. And you just want to use AI to, to get the two to talk to each other and ultimately build a trust and authenticity, show your experience and show that you are the one that should be recommended. And when you get all that working together, you then get great results in the AI mode. The second tip is to use AI for the reviews to your replies. So like that bad review I had earlier, I used AI to help write the review to get the right emotion across. So it sounds professional, I said. Make it empathetic, keep it calm. Google tracks how you respond to reviews. So your replies, your trust signals, they also impact how customers deal with you. So make them professional, make them sound reasonable, and you'll get great results in your reviews because people read those replies too. A third tip is what about using AI to understand what the needs are of your customers based on what they say in the reviews. So you could copy and paste your reviews in from Google or from other platforms, put it into ChatGPT, and then say, give me some information. What are the themes here? What are the key words that keep coming up? What are customers really enjoying? What can I improve on based on what they're saying? Now this is gold because what this is going to do is it's like getting an outsider to reveal your blind spots. And once you can see patterns like that, you'll know where to focus for your business. The fourth tip is just using AI to review an analysis of your ranking terms. So your type of business, you could put it into AI and then ask Google to find keywords and themes so that we know how people are discovering my type of business through AI. So we just want to understand, are there kind of themes and keywords and concerns that we haven't thought about? So ask what other keywords and phrases and questions are customers using to find my type of business and then build content that talks to that. So the more niche we are, the more specific we are in our business, on our platform, on our posts, on our case studies, on our blogs if we're blogging or news information on our website, the more niche we are, the more Google uses that information to then share with potential customers. 
AI mode is all about understanding that we're talking to real customers, but we need to put the information in the database in the first place. And that's done through websites, it's done through service pages, and it's particularly done for your Google business profile. So things like your services, your categories, your Q and A's, those all also help Google understand what you do. So number five is don't lose focus because AI mode is all about getting customer information before customers themselves like case studies, reviews all over the web, not just on Google. And remember, you're looking to build rich contextual content along with proof that you are the local expert, that you are trustworthy and the authority to go to. So because if your customers are already using those types of keywords, Google is going to highlight those as well and make them stand out. And just a reminder, don't forget to get that free guide that's down below in the description if you haven't done so already. And in there, you'll also get access to my workshop that gets you all the reviews you need and takes you through all the whole process. So look out for that too. So once you've got these reviews coming in, in effect, they're building up more valuable content than you could ever do on your website through producing blogs each week. So getting a constant stream of reviews is a win-win situation. It is ranking currency, as we call it. And if you want to see a more wilder review strategy, where someone was getting over 100 reviews a day and it was a bit cringy what they were doing, but also something you might want to be inspired by, then there's a video here where I made a case study on what they were doing. Now you won't want to miss that, so head over to this video next and I'll take you through that process too.